Hello, I'm Didier Stevens, a senior handler uh, with the Internet Storm Center. We received a malicious document, an office document that I'm going to look at with Ole Dump. And as you can see, it contains macros. But before we start looking into the macros, also remark that here we have a stream that starts ends with the slash O. So this is a frame that contains properties and in F you have the name of the properties and in O you have the value of the properties. And it often happens that malware routers will hide uh, snippets of commands into properties. And here you can see that the size is 2336 bytes, which is uh, a bit large for uh, such a slash O stream. So we are going to look into that stream I'm selecting it. Okay, yeah. And as you can see here, we have something that looks like base64 code uh, with a lot of A's. So this could be a Unicode. And uh, Unicode, yeah, that tells us that it could uh, probably be PowerShell. I can also use a plugin. plugin stream O on this document and then as you can see it will extract for you the different property values uh, and here you can already see also PowerShell encoding uh, so can be sure that this is a PowerShell command. So this is base64 and therefore I'm going to pipe this into my tool base64 dump and here stream 12, that's the largest one. Uh, so that is the one that we decoded. We can instruct base64 dump that we want streams to be selected when they have at least 20 characters in them, like this. And then you only get that large stream uh, that is listed. So that helps you reduce the, the clutter on your screen because of course many strings will actually be semantically valid uh, base64 strings. So I'm selecting this one and I'm doing an ASCII dump and this indeed looks like base64. So I'm going to convert this. This looks to be UTF-16 and indeed here we have our PowerShell script where you can see another base64 string and here you can see with a little bit of obfuscation system IO compression deflate stream. So this base64 string here is compressed data. So I'm going to pipe this again through OLED dump, uh, sorry, to base64 dump. And here the longest one is entry 5. So I'm selecting that one. I'm doing an ASCII dump. And here you can see all hexadecimal data. So this looks like it is compressed data. So I'm going to do a binary dump and pipe this through translate with option F. Uh, option F does a full read, uh, so translate by default operates byte per byte. But if you do slash F dash F, mm, then you let translate operate on the complete file. And what we are going to do here is call function zlib because it's zlib compression raw decompression D. And indeed uh, the data is decompressed and here you can see another uh, PowerShell script which is a downloader mm, with here one URL that it will download and execute as a PowerShell script and here is another URL from which it will download and save and exit to disk and then execute that. 
now how did I know that this here is compressed data? Well, because of what's in the PowerShell script that it does the compression. Mm. There is no Zlib header here that uh, indicates that this is uh, Zlib compressed. Mm. I will discuss this in an uh, upcoming diary entry. Mm. But that is why I'm doing a raw Zlib decompression. Eh? So z compressed uh, Zlib without header. If there is a header, then you call Zlib D. Well, of course, you get an error here because this one is expecting a header and, uh, and there is no header.